Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel and today we are here for another review. This review is not very exciting as a different kind of review, but it is the review of a special edition for 2021. So in that sense, it is quite special. So today we have here this pen inside a box and it is written there. This is the Lamy Safari Original Terra Red 2021 edition. So this is the how this pen comes. Let's put this aside and then we have I, I, I noticed that there are different kinds of packages around the world or distributors, but this one, this is the one I got and we have here the Terra Red. It is an interesting kind of red and it, the most interesting thing is, is that this is a special edition uh, for this year. Lamy always uh, produces one, sometimes two, sometimes three pens as a special edition for the year, the Lamy Safari. And this is the one of the first colors that were released in 1980 in the first release of the Lamy Safari. I had this edition had two because the, that first version of the Lamy Safari had two colors, the these and these. So these are replicas of those vintage colors. Not, let's not call it vintage, but the original. And this collection is called uh, Safari Original. This is the Terra Red, this is the Savannah Green. So this is an interesting pen that let's just take a look at the, the, the parts. It has this black piece on the top of a cylindrical cap. It has a shape of a plus sign. Then you have a metal clip that has a U shape. It is quite strong, but you can definitely use it. And because it has a huge space there, you can even put it in a jeans pocket. Cap is cylindrical. The barrel would be cylindrical, except it has these two facets uh, plane. Then you have the that kind of uh, end to the barrel, and you can see there it says Germany. I hope you you could check it. So it says Germany there on the end. It has Lamy engraved in one of the facets, nothing on the other. In both facets, it has a ink window to see the ink level inside. This ink window is open, so no eyedropper in here because if you put your finger inside, you will touch directly the cartridge. Then you have the section, which is the typical Lamy Safari section, which is kind of a triangular shape, so it forces you to have this part resting in your hand here and the other two fingers there, and this will align with the nib. The biggest problem for some people who like to write in a certain angle is that you cannot rotate the nib to adapt to the grip position, so this will be this will force you into a specific position, and I have to say this is not really not my favorite kind of grip section. However, in this case, I think it is quite acceptable for Lamy, but I don't really like this kind of thing. It has this black nib with the white engraving of Lamy or the silver engraving there and the typical feed. The nibs can be easily exchanged because they go they have these two little things that go on the feed so you can just take it and uh, replace for another if you prefer. The cap clicks on place. You can unscrew these, you have this plastic ring and you can put inside a Lamy proprietary cartridge or a Lamy converter or you can get uh, a Parker or an Aurora cartridge because they will fit also. 
and also some Moonman um, cartridges and also there are some other brands that will fit um, I cannot remember now but there are another at least one more Chinese brand when you screw the barrel back you have two entries for these uh, for the barrel the facets will always align with the clip but because it has two entries you may get the lamy engraving aligned with the nib or this other part so you just need to unscrew and screw it back and you'll get it in the right place so this is this is what a lamy pen is and let's not spend much more time with these let's just check other stuff like color comparison so we have this this is terra red so it means it is like a terracotta color now i have these that i bought specifically for this review you see this was available in a store here in lisbon the closing mechanism of the of the box is not working anymore but and it has some damage but it is nice and this is the original box of Alami Safari from the 19 from 1980 um, with this color so this is the original box this part is a little bit loose as you can see so this is an older box and it had some flooding issues on the on the store where it where I bought it so and I could buy there was not a, a pen available because if there was a pen available it, it would cost a lot of money if it was the original but there was this uh, pen this ballpoint pen and the ballpoint pen I bought it just because I want to com I wanted to compare the colors with you so these are the two editions I don't have the, the fountain pen unfortunately I would love to I just as I told you I bought this just to show and because it doesn't really interest me I think I will uh, sell this if someone is interested I will sell the the box and the, and the, the the ballpoint pen so the ballpoint pen is very 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 comparable with the new Lamy Safari let me just put it in this place and you can see maybe there is a slight difference in the grain of it, of the texture and how it reflects light and maybe the older one is a little bit more orangey and saturated but I'm not completely sure this is just for you to check so i would say this is really a very good homage to the older version because the color is quite a good fit if you get an older one there is one major difference between both if you want to to distinguish them here it says germany as i showed you and the, in the older one because the berlin wall still existed this pen why can't I focus? This pen is marked West or W for West Germany. So the West Germany pen is the older one. The Germany pen is the newer one. So this is interesting. Now let's keep it here. Let, let me put the box aside, trying not to damage it anymore and we are saying this is a terracotta color and how accurate is that so i went for uh, an old broken vase that i have in in my my parents have a country house and they had that and with some water lilies inside water so it was broken okay and i got there and i broke it a little bit more and i brought it so when you have the the terracotta color it gets a little bit like this when it is exposed to the 
to the elements but when you look at this this is freshly broken and the exposure is a little bit difficult today let me show it like this this is the color so this is kind of a more reddish terracotta but i would say it is compatible with what a terracotta color would be this was just for fun now about the color comparison and size comparison i usually compare the lamy safari with a lamy safari and the parker buffalo there's no need to compare this lamy safari with another lamy safari but i have here a parker centennial do fold big red and you may see they are both of the same size the lamy is one or two millimeters longer both pens in my opinion are made to write with it with them and post it and that sense they are the same size but the nib on the lamy has a different shape and is much smaller than the nib on the parker centennial the fold if you want to post it you can post and you can see it posts quite deep because it covers all the lamy logo and it even goes further than that you can see so it works quite well uh, but in my opinion it becomes top heavy not top not extremely top heavy because i should not say top heavy because it's not heavy it is a light pen but it becomes unbalanced it is not a question a matter of weight it's just a matter of unbalance and this way it is perfectly balanced when i post the cap it will fall to the other side so i don't like to post it now just for some color comparisons the new lamy safari original terror red the older version from the 1980 some of the color variation you see here is not because of the actual color of the pen but how the matte uh, finish will uh, reflect light so the parker centennial the fold which is this is the big red which is a replica of this vintage Parker Senior will fold and you can see the colors are quite well matched. I also have here another interesting pen which is the Caveco Sport, Caveco Skyline Sport Fox and it is in the same color family. I think I will make soon a video showing all my pens with this color and I also have the Lamy, the sorry, the Caveco Art Sport, it's more this way, the Art Sport color um, coral red, which is uh, the same kind of color as the more similar to the older the fold, but it has more a, a pearlized, uh, a pearly uh, look to it. It's not easy to describe. So let me put this here on the side and let's see also the another pen that I like a lot which is the Graf von Faber Castell Intuition in Terra. So the same color, actually it has the same name and let me put it here you can see it's quite a good match. It's not that easy to compare the color because as I said, this is a smooth, glossy finish. This is a matte finish. So they reflect light in different ways. And because light, of course, is what makes uh, colors exist, uh, this will make some difference. So this is the overall of the pen. Let's just check how this pen writes. And here we have our pen and paper and let's see how it performs. So, this is the Lamy Safari Original Terra Red 2021 Special Edition with a fine steel nib. The paper that I'm using is the usual Rodia.pad and the ink is Great Fountain Mystery 
brown, which is quite a reddish brown that actually is a nice match, not a perfect match, but it is kind of a nice match to this pen. Lamy usually or often makes uh, matching inks for the special editions. This time they didn't, so if you want to match the color, you need to search around if you want to search for this one. So, what can I say about this pen? The pen writes well, as usually a Lamy Safari does. However, this one, remember this, this one has the black coating on the nib and it makes the pen more feedbacky. Not unpleasant, but more feedbacky. As you use it, the coating on the tip of the nib will wear off. And that is normal to happen. And as that happens, and you can see it is more shiny here, because a part of it is already gone, when you're writing with it, it gets smoother and smoother with time. But expect some feedback with it. So, about the performance. The pen writes quite well, even if you write fast with it. Usually, Lamy uh, nibs and feeds don't have any problem to keep going with the, the, the ink flow, so there's no problem there. I actually find this nib to be quite smooth. I have had some Lamy nibs that were not that good. They say they test all the nibs for smoothness and so every pen is has every pen has a um, residue of blue Lamy ink because they deep test every pen to check. But some of them are not that nice, that pleasant. This one has a very good nib, although it has that kind of feedback that you can expect from a black nib. But it is well tuned and it works well. About Line variation. Okay, I would say forget about it because Lamy is not known for line variation. You can try to press it harder, but I don't really sh know if you can have any difference. The nib is quite wet, which is interesting because many times Lamy nibs are not that wet. Of course, the ink may play a role here, but it is quite pleasant if you want to write on the reverse side. Uh, actually, you can, it is scratchy, but you can't. It's not easy to hold the pen like this to write, because it forces you to write this way. I don't think most pens, I'm thinking about uh, Parker 180, it was meant to write in both sides, but most pens are not meant to do that. But this one, because they put it like this and they don't allow you to rotate the nib and feed inside, they are saying, no, you just have to hold the pen like this. So it's not for you to write upside down or on the reverse side of the nib with this pen. But you actually can. It's not very smooth, but I think if Imagine if you take this nib out and you put in another Lamy pen which has a rounded um, a round section instead of triangular one, you could use it in the other side if you just go through micro mesh just a couple of uh, times and it would work fine, I think. So, no complaints about the writing of this pen. Don't expect any extraordinary writing experience, but you can have a nice writing experience as you actually can expect from most Lamy pens. This is a very interesting pen. I like the fact that this is a special edition, that they went back to the old color. I'm not saying that only the old things are good. Not, I, it's not my opinion at all. But I like when pens, when pen makers, don't forget where they come from. And this is a kind of an homage to their history, and I like that. I like innovation also, but I like the homages to their history, and this was really nice touch, and it was well done. Another thing, Lamy always makes lots of special editions, so I, in my opinion, Lamy as Lamy Safari as Caveco Sport, it is a great. Uh, 
they are both great pens to collect because you you can have a full rainbow of colors with both these pens and you they are quite reliable sometimes the nibs may not be as good but they are really reliable and you know what you get and the best thing about this pen is that this is a special edition for 2021 and it is it costs around the regular price of a Lamy Safari it costs I think around 26 euros so it is an interesting pen and I think you can get it maybe cheap, cheaper in some places so uh, just be aware of fake Lamy pens so when I buy a Lamy pen I always go at least the Lamy Safari there are There are some pens that may not be a fake completely because they are not saying they are Lamy, but you may see an online picture like this covering the name, so the other one won't have the name but the same design and you buy it and it's not the real thing. So be aware of that. I like to buy from real stores that I trust already. So. This is all I had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this review and my rambling around. And I thank you a lot for coming to my channel once again to watch this video. This is all and I hope to meet you soon. Bye.